San Francisco's Department of Technology has led a citywide initiative to expand broadband access throughout San Francisco. We have used municipal fiber and local partnership to bring internet access to over 4,000 units of low-income housing. Some residents at sites like Valencia Gardens are receiving bandwidth in excess of 40 megabits per second. We believe our unique use of municipal fiber can be replicated throughout the country. San Francisco nonprofits and city agencies are providing a wide range of innovative programming throughout the city, from classes on how to use a mouse to how to create digital movies. San Francisco has also worked hard to create computer ownership programs, from a very popular program that provides laptops for foster youth to a program that provides low-cost, refurbished city PCs to public housing residents. FCC Chairman Julius Janikowski came to Valencia Gardens recently to see firsthand our best practices and the lessons San Francisco has learned deploying broadband networks and technology programming throughout the city. We're trying to get out of this mode of government being the decider and it, it makes a huge difference within the nonprofit and the community and they don't expect it actually they're quite surprised when we do that but they really like the empowerment that we're giving them. and it's important that we bring in the broadband capability and the internet capability so that families can do homework centers and after school programs and things of that nature so this although nouveau is what we want to do to about another 2500 units yeah. that we can bring up to speed like this First of all, I'd like to thank everyone for being here today. It's a very special day for One Economy Corporation and the Digital Connectors, who are technology ambassadors for the San Francisco Mission District. Their role is to provide technology service to families that live inside Valencia Gardens. The Digital Connectors have provided over 5,000 hours of community service here in San Francisco. What are some of the big differences between Valencia Gardens now and, 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 and Gardens? before and, and, that, that relate to having the internet here and having the access? Um, I think that having the internet here, we provide for the younger kids too, mm -hmm. and they're able to come in and we are able to teach them what they need to know for getting them prepared for middle school or high school. Technology has a good impact in the Valencia Gardens now to the younger youth that are going to be growing up here. Ultimately, what it yielded was access for the families in this community to internet service at an affordable rate, in fact, free here. Um, and then what's more important, quite frankly, is the programmatic uh, support that helps those sort of aspiring technology users to be able to, to actually take advantage of the connection to the World Wide Web. In addition to what they have said, I would say that Data Connector is not just a program about learning about technology, it's actually a baseline that helps you get into companies where you can get a job in technology. And so when the FCC is considering this national broadband strategy, um, I think it's important that you guys keep in mind this idea of access is important, um, but access without adoption is only half of the solution. And then as Mike points out, access with adoption coupled with content is sort of a triple play or a, a really great uh, opportunity. And so if, if the federal government is intentional about that, you can foster and sponsor hundreds and hundreds of Valencia Gardens across the country. I'm happy to hear you say that and, and in fact that is the outline of what the FCC is looking at and it's why I'm so pleased to be here today. The uh, Recovery Act uh, passed by Congress, signed by the President, gives the FCC the responsibility of developing a national broadband strategy and actually says that we should look at those three categories. And if I could just build on what Alan said, I think what is special about San Francisco and our experience is the way we're integrating all of those pieces together and almost creating ecosystems, if you will, of really watching how they um, build on each other and play off of each other. And sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. We're kind of looking at it as a giant petri dish of innovation and trying to figure it out, but we're making sure that everything works together. And that is, I think, one of the secrets to our success. It's a, you know, when you can, when you can kind of get a virtuous circle going yeah. and you have the access which gets kids involved, which gets other folks trained. Uh, um, uh, it's, a, it's a fantastic thing and it keeps on building on itself. Yeah. One of the things that we wanted to do uh, at the FCC in, in, in coming here and learning about this um, was to uh, learn about the ways in which communities are using technology to advance public policy objectives and in particular the benefits of broadband. What we're doing with the Boys and Girls Club and the Academy of Science is to connect the scientists at uh, the Academy of Science to the Boys and Girls Club so 
the person on the right could be a scientist and the person on the left could be a student and they can have a rich conversation remotely. We recently uh, partnered with the California Virtual Campus to set up a distance learning relationship so people in our neighborhood could connect to learning opportunities that were either across the city or across the state or across the country. We've also had a broadband connection with uh, Algebra Online, helping kids who are having difficulty with Algebra actually uh, connect with Algebra and a curriculum online using broadband. Where there's broadband but no computer, we're getting the computer into the hands of the individual who now can take advantage of the broadband. And um, because once you've got your computer, you need a way to keep it going, we also provide very low-cost tech support in low-income communities, in some cases free. But what I love about the Strife Center is there's a, a wide diversity of people. Most of us are unemployed, but we are a, a support group for each other. And the Strife Center also teaches us life skills and prepares us to go out into the world and be, be professional people. You have to fund from infrastructure to content creation, digital storytelling. Unlike Field of Dreams, if you build it, they won't come. That there has to be a reason for people to actually come online, use broadband. So we do a lot of how do you get people relevant, culturally competent content, whether they be communities of color, urban and rural poor, looking at um, disability populations. One of the things that, that's been a priority for the superintendent is our technology and a large part of that is really working with our parents and our students but really wanting to get our parents more connected to the schools. But for School Loop to be really effective we need partnerships like we have with the city. We're looking to increase access to computers and internet for teachers and families at home. Uh, some of the offerings they've, they've made to us is making community hubs training centers for School Loop providing our staff to actually come into the community hubs so that parents can be trained in their native language close to their home. If you think about if we are truly creating access for our young people and we don't want to patronize them and say hey you can be an animator one day even though you're getting in trouble doodling right now in school there is a career here and if we can't do this in the Bay Area where the Pixar's and the Lucas's of the world live and the EA's and the whole video gaming world is here then where are we gonna do it all the dots are here and I feel like let's continue to make the connection together all of these partners all of us gathered together here provide resources we provide services we provide educational opportunities but what we really see are miracles happening in people's lives that is the outcome that we see every day, you know, in every one of these programs and partnerships, and is vital. Broadband is core infrastructure, as we've seen today, for jobs, for education, for the future of our kids. And it's essential that we have a plan that meets the moment and that takes it on a national level as seriously as all of you are taking it, are taking it here. I just, I couldn't be more delighted uh, to be here. I hope this is the beginning of a dialogue between uh, uh, all the people at Valencia Gardens, all the Im impressive, unbelievably impressive groups represented here, uh, and the FCC and the national government. Innovators like you are using broadband, using technology to help advance uh, important objectives in the country.